In this video for positive maths, we're going to look at an exam question for strand 1 probability and statistics. So it's from the 2013 paper 2 question 1 for leaving search ordinary level. Okay, so let's read through the question. Katie tossed a coin 200 times and threw 109 heads. Joe tossed the same coin 400 times and threw 238 heads. Lucy tossed the same coin 500 times and threw 291 heads. Katie, Joe and Lucy now think the coin may be biased. So, part A, give a reason why they think the coin may be biased. So let's first of all just outline some of the important details. Okay, so for Katie, she tossed the coin 200 times, got heads 109 times. For Joe, he tossed the coin 400 times and got heads 238 times. And for Lucy, she tossed the coin 500 times, and got heads 291 times. So what we're noticing here, really, is that Katie got heads more than 50% of the time. So did Joe, and so did Lucy. Okay, so more than 50% of the time. So that will be our answer. So give a reason why they think the coin may be biased. We will say that each player tossed more than 50% heads. Okay, so for part B. Lucy uses all the above data and calculates that the best estimate of the probability of throwing a head with this coin is 0.58. Show how Lucy might have calculated this probability. Okay, so the first kind of important note is that she uses all of the above data. Okay, so we want to use all of the data to calculate the probability. Okay, so the first thing we need to calculate is the total number of tosses. Okay, so we're going to add 200 plus 400 plus 500. This is going to give us 1100. So the coin was, the coin was tossed 1100 times. Okay, the next total that we want is the total number of heads. So now we're going to add 109 plus 238 plus 291. That will give us a total of 638. So the probability of tossing a head for this coin is going to equal 2. The number of times they tossed a head over the total number of times. So we will get 0 0.58. So this is how we show how Lucy calculated the probability. So all of this will go in here. So we'll just write our answer for now. So the probability of tossing ahead, 0 0.58. And the last part, C. Joe agrees with Lucy's estimate of 0 0.58 as the probability of throwing ahead with this coin. He claims that the probability of throwing three successive heads with this coin is less than the probability of throwing two successive tails. Calculate the probability of each event and state whether Joe's claim is true or not. Okay, so first of all, we're going to identify that we have the probability for rolling or for tossing the heads. So it's 0 0.58. So therefore, the probability of tossing the tail 
is going to be 0 0.42. Okay, so we're just noting that the two possible options add together, so 0 0.58 and 0 0.42, they add together to give us 1. Okay, so now we want to calculate the probability of tossing three successive heads, so three heads in a row. This is going to be the probability of doing that once, and then cubed, because it's three times. So 0 0.58 cubed is going to give us 0 0.195112. Okay, now we're going to calculate the probability of tossing two tails. Okay, so the probability of tossing one tail is 0 0.42. So if it's twice, it's going to be 0 0.42 squared. And we get 0 0.1764. Okay, so what we're saying then really is the probability of tossing three successive heads is not less than the probability of tossing two successive tails. So therefore, we're saying Joe's claim is not true. For more information, you can visit www.positivemaths.ie. You can email us at info.positivemaths.ie and find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.